Okay, I'm reloaded. We got London on the Tell track. me, do you know the feel? Tell me, do you know the feel? You look up and you ain't got no feel. Oh, me in a Lambo? Nah. Hey, what's up, guys? About to go meet up with Deshaun Jackson. Artist. For one of his artist video shoot. Get over here! Let's go. Been hitting me up and asking me why I don't um, speak anymore on my videos. Um, I've just been trying out new things. It ain't just because I don't want to speak anymore. A lot of things have been going on in my life, like a million things. So, you know, this video, I'm going to try to recap some of these things before we get there. Like what's been going on. Number one, I'm trying to move to New York. So, New York is a destination that I want to go to. I don't think I want to go to the outskirts of Jersey because it's just not what I want to do. Number two, I'm trying to open up multiple businesses at the same time. Um, I'm buying a, I'm buying a bar now, another bar. Um, I have a club opening in the next month or two. I don't even have an estimated date now. Um, there's just a lot of things that are going on. Um, I'm finishing multiple houses, and, and it's to the point where like I'm overwhelmed. And then doing YouTube takes like no joking about 14 hours of my day. Even for a 10 minute video, it'll still take up most of my day. So. You know, I gotta try to um you know let me know in the comment section if you guys want me to um to buy that that indoor GTA car lot. That thing I think it's gonna be good because um I'm gonna start wrapping cars. I wanna start wrapping cars and I pretty much wanna start uh powder coating and I need like a home like a home hub base to have all my friends come over, have um some of my subscribers come over in New Jersey and and just just come through and, and kick it with me and not only that i'm going to start selling cars but i'm going to start selling cars that make sense to me srta's you know hellcats just a lot of nicer cars yeah i think i'm going to go ahead and buy that and in life you know i get so many people who hit me up and say oh me invest in me invest in me but one thing is like you you gotta like bring something to the table if you want me to invest in something it's not just i have an idea and i want i want you to bring it to life that, that doesn't work i think what people need to start doing is start taking accountability for their own lives you know stop waiting on people you need to start pushing people always have good ideas to them it's a good idea to yourself and then they go around their friends and tell them their ideas and every and everybody's talking shit like oh that's not gonna work stop letting people put their fears on you you need to literally Start taking your ideas and start manifesting them. Start manifesting your own ideas. Because, like, I'm telling you right now, nobody's ever got rich by listening to the next person. Everybody went off their gut feeling and worked hard to get it, you know? And so my advice to you is um, figure out what you want to do in life. Even if you're working a 9 to 5, stop trying to live the lifestyle of social media. Stop trying to keep up with people and, and just go for it. Go for it. You want to start a YouTube? Guess what? Buy a fucking camera. And start and start doing it. Yeah, you might get two or three people to watch you in the beginning, but the better your content will get, the better quality, the more people are gonna just watch. I didn't know four months ago people were gonna be this many people were gonna be watching my YouTube channel. It's just something I always wanted to do, and I was like, you know what? Let me just try it, and I did it, and and, and it's starting to work. You know, I'm not where I want to be yet. I want to be, you know, a million subscribers and. But I'm going to get there eventually. And this isn't easy. I'm, I run businesses and I have employees. And this is a lot of sacrifice I got to do. Not only that, it's hard to trust people to come around you. Um, it's not It's not easy. It's not easy. You know? I already had a falling out with so many people over this. And it's sad. But at the end of the day, I, I like for people to see that, you know, I did come from the hood. And I did come from nothing. Um, I didn't cheat my way to the top. I didn't steal from anybody. I didn't fucking 
had to sell drugs to get here. I'm not saying I'm a perfect person by any means. Like I'm, I'm just as fucking fucked up as anybody else is next man. But I have a positive outlook on life. I don't put people down and I don't try to fucking like scheme people to get to where I gotta go in life. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I don't have to like, you know, pretend to be I'm not somebody that I am. Just to just to make this work. Every day I wake up happy. Even if I'm sad, I'm still happy. Even if I'm upset, I'm still happy. You know, I have a positive outlook in life. And, it, and I've always been like this. People think that, that money has anything. Money has nothing to do with happiness. Money has nothing to do with none of this shit. It's just, you know, I wake up every day just wanting more out of life. And that's the same thing you should want. Like, you guys have families. You want more out of life. If you're working a regular job right now, it's going to take you a while. But at the end of the day, start putting money away. You don't need the new iPhone. Don't upgrade. Look. I'm a fucking millionaire and I still got the same iPhone. It just wasn't, I, I didn't need it at the time, you know? And now I, I, I do got the new iPhone, by the way, but I just, I'm using this, you know? Like, you don't have to keep up with the pressures of social media. I think that would drive a man insane. And that, believe it or not, that, that, that shit got us kind of oppressed, to be honest, to the point where, like, you got to try to keep up so much that you're staying broke, you know? You don't got to go to the club four days, four times a month. Go go out once. Start putting away some fucking money. And then get into real goals, real life goals. I'm going to start putting a, um something small together. How to invest $1,000 and make 1500 in a week. And, you know, I think stuff like that will start to work. Because, you know, an extra $500 a week for a regular person is a lot of money. I know when I was working and stuff, $500 made a big difference. So I'm gonna do small little vlogs like that to um, show you guys how to start flipping some money. I'm gonna start hunting a couple products down and start doing it. I think that way you guys can see. And then from 1,500, then you turn that into you know 2,500, and then 2,500 dollars you go you go buy a car at the auction at 2,500, sell it for 3,000, 3,500. It's not about hitting home runs. It's about constantly, constantly, you know, making your money grow. You know, having money, having a hundred thousand dollars put away isn't good. If your money isn't working for you, then it's not good. That's why you know, investing in property is the best because people want to put money away in wealth management. It, it, that makes zero sense. Makes zero sense to put money away in wealth management to get what three percent on your money. You can buy a property and get eight to ten percent on that property. And I've, I've always say that get eight to ten percent on your property. While you know, yes, you don't have the liquid cash anymore but the house is still worth the money so you could always sell your house while your money's making you money so keep that in mind just remember man start putting some money away to start investing in the ideas that you want all right waiting and depending on people it ain't never going to get you nowhere waiting on your cousin to get you a job ain't going to get you nowhere waiting on your friend to hook you up with this opportunity ain't going to get you nowhere you got to create your own opportunity this is fucking america all right, all that oppressed shit. Cause I'm, I see more black millionaires than anything, and I'm Spanish. You know, it's hard for me at times. Cause you know, I live in an all black city, and you know, sometimes I don't, I feel like I don't get the, the right, I don't get the right opportunities either. Cause I'm Spanish. But guess what? I don't, I don't let that shit bother me. I don't let race bother me. Most of my friends are white. I got a lot of black friends, and we're all in the same fucking boat. So let's go. I'll see you over there. Don't go too far, man. Like, you don't got to go all the way. Yeah, I ain't got to go. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, you can start right here. 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 Yeah, you can start right here.
stage. Yeah, this is just like, yeah, exactly. Using like a stage. So you can use the whole area. You don't got to be stuck. You know what I'm saying? Get that on camera. And he only 17. Remember that. He can't even get in the club. He can't do that. I don't go out a lot of places I can't. You know what I'm saying? Crazy. Problems, I had to fix them. I was broke, I had to get it. Then have a charge in how I'm living. Ain't no option where I'm from. Ain't too many options where I'm from. Selling drugs and shooting guns. I'm fortunate, but you the chosen one. 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 trying to get my foot up under me everything's just been me and jay by ourselves meanwhile i'm still trying to do a lot of things still trying to open up these businesses still trying to so i'm going to get back into the car thing really soon the reason why i want to buy a dealership all right it's because i buy a lot of vehicles now if i have a dealership then i can pretty much buy cars on invoice drive them for a day or two and then sell them and then keep doing the same thing over and over again and make a business out of it which is something i always wanted to do was get into car sales so i think that'll be dope not only that it's just a lot more content you know open up a paint booth in there to paint some things and um you know a powder coat powder coat booth taking some work from other shops alongside with the printing company I think these things right here will be kind of fun. Not only that, have people come over and um, come down to the to the shop it will be dope also. And you know, it's just been overwhelmed. I got three clubs opening this year. It's it's a lot of work, and you know, and I don't hire the right people. I mean, I have the right team around me. Is that I think my team is overwhelmed on some of this stuff. Like we're overwhelmed, we're jam packed with work. I can't seem to close out any business because I jump from one project to another. I'm back and forth. I have the tour bus and I still haven't decided to want to go on tour yet. It's a lot of shit, dude. I, I sign myself up for so many things and this is a lesson for you guys. Doesn't matter how much money you have. If you don't have your time and your and your business is in order, shit will go wrong for you. All right. Now I'm I'm sitting here juggling whether to spend time with my kids, whether like what's important in life. Right now I'm 33 years old. I can afford to take some time off, and, you know, from like not seeing the kids for for a few days at a time because I know that this is benefiting my kids. But at the same time, I feel guilty. You know, I have other, two other kids that are getting older and older, and I'm not there for them as much as I should be. I have a one-year-old who I'm not there as much as I should be, pretty much absent from that. All I do is dish out money, you know, whenever his mom needs it. Um, these things isn't fair, you know. It isn't fair to my two older kids. It isn't fair to my two middle kids. And it isn't fair to my youngest child. I got five boys, if you're wondering. Um, and, you know, it isn't fair to them. But at the same time, what do I do? I go work a nine to five and provide them all the time in the world. But I, yet I, I can't provide them the lifestyle that they will want to live when they get older. I mean, I hope and pray that they all forgive me for the time that I am taking off to, to provide a better life for them. But I'm going to get this shit together ASAP because, you know, time with your family is probably the most important thing. Money can't buy time back but at the same time i want to provide a life for them so they don't have to be out in the streets ever ever so you know hopefully 20 years from now they're watching this video and youtube is running stronger than ever you know they're like damn you know my dad worked hard for this shit you know um 
depreciating assets is another thing I got to slow down on, you know. But at the same time, I, I am young. I'm having fun with my life. And um, I got to just learn how to juggle my time, businesses, money, relationships. And, and once again, this is the lesson for you guys. And I'm showing you how overwhelmed I am. I'm not going to hide this shit from you guys at all, whatsoever. I'm going to show you. So, yeah, time management is probably the most important thing. You know, it's, it's easy. It's easy to be in a relationship with somebody that works a nine to five and, you know, they can schedule their day, go to the gym, do this. Do, I can't do any of that. I'm constantly, constantly, every day I got something to do. Right now, I got to meet up my my, my real estate agent. I got closing on two more properties. I'm like, so I'm like, listen, after the, after the next few weeks, I'm not buying anything anymore. I need some time off. I need some time off from buying. I want to start finishing projects that I have rolling, all right? So no more being overwhelmed. I want to take some vacations, and I can't even take them. So, you know, take your time. Take your time. Life is going to come right at you full force. Take your time. I promise you, don't rush for nothing in life because everything in life takes a lot of time. Opening businesses, I thought it was going to be easy. Oh, my God. God is harder than ever, you know, you need permits, the city needs to approve, lawyer fees, how am I, you have no idea guys, you have no fucking idea how hard life gets at this point, now, now dealing with accountants, dealing with lawyers all the time, it gets hard, watch what you pray for, take your time, I'm going to show you guys this shit step by step, give me some time for these videos to get better, and I promise you they will, because I'm going to get in full detail with this shit, I'm going to be in the Hellcat, we're almost at 500,000 subscribers. I'm going to be giving away $50,000. See you on the next one. Rawr. Looking up, I see no stunners. Looking down, I see drip. That's right. Neck work for half a million. Yeah. Niggas mad because I'm living. Yeah. On Instagram, trying to kill them. But I'm too busy fucking bad bitches getting M's, nigga. I'm chilling. Twin size had to sleep on it. New crib, drop three on it. Hit the club and just keep going. See, I'm going to stop, but I keep throwing. If she fucking.